competing. So, of course, tomorrow is the Super Bowl, and it is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, but a Native American rights group is planning a protest on Sunday, urging the Kansas, Kansas City Chiefs to retire the team's name and stop fans from using an in-game tomahawk chop ahead of the Super Bowl in Tampa. So Alicia Norris is the co-founder of the Florida Indigenous Rights and Environmental Equality. Um, it's called FIRE, uh, with two E's, and is one of the people leading the demonstration set to take place near Raymond James Stadium, where the Chiefs will play the, the Bucks for the championship. Um, and so she says, quote, the indigenous people of this land have already had a mass genocide approach with regard to their culture and its way of living. And she goes on to say, and when you further dehumanize them and objectify them, it just kind of falls in line with the extinction of who who they are. So a historian by the name of Patrick Wolf wrote this amazing article called Settler Colonialism and the Elimination of the Native. And he talks about the multiple ways in which genocide was committed against Native peoples um, by white settlers. And it's not just physical erasure, it is cultural. And this is part of what they're arguing is this is part of that cultural erasure. And it reinforces, again, problematic stereotypes that justify the consistent erasure and just kind of like brushing aside of uh, Native peoples. Yeah, whenever we like, and I'm sure we're probably will see some comments. If not tonight, we will probably see it after the show for sure. Afterwards, right, with people going, well, what about the Seminoles and what about the Blackhawks and what about the Seahawks, right? And it's like mm -hmm. the Seahawks worked with the the natives people when they came up with the iconography and got their blessing and approval. The Seminoles are supported by the I Seminole, know. right? The the Blackhawks, it's a little more complicated, but. The, the 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 nations that are involved with that are you know approve of the mascot and the story behind it and there is like this legitimate this is an honor and out of respect um you know what the chiefs are doing this kind of equivalent thing of the tomahawk chop right where they do this oh and like i, I was reading this story about you know, as somebody who is a, a Native American in that area, was that, well, you know, what's the chant? It's like, it's nonsense. It, no, no, like, come on, let me enter the secret. What's the chant? And like, the person was ready to kill the, it's like, yeah. it's nonsense. Yeah, it's made up. It's homogenizing. It's like all Native people rode horses and wear headdresses. No, they didn't. Um, all Native peoples were warriors and had tomahawks and shot bows and arrows. No, they didn't. Um, it's this very homogenizing effect that continues to perpetuate these ongoing problematic and harmful stereotypes that for some reason, white people, particularly white men, do not want to let go of. Yeah, exactly.